Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you the most effective way to get headshots on Terminus. Now, before we jump into the game, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure you chuck on the headshot barrel for whatever gun that you were using. You also want to make sure you're using suppressor so that you can get more salvage so that you can level up your gun rarity. And I would also recommend using rapid fire if you have it unlocked. And finally, if you're field upgrade, I would use a for shroud. But if you don't have that, I would use frenzied guard. Now, let's hop into the game. Right, so once you're in the game, you want to power all of these up while going for as many headshots as you possibly can. I don't recommend turning the Rampage Inducer on when you're going for headshots, because they just become very fast and a bit hard to constantly hit headshots when they're sprinting at you that fast that early on. So uh, I wouldn't recommend turning it on. So... What a lot of people would probably do at this stage is they would buy junk. Well, we're not going to do that. We're actually going to save our money for something else. And I'll show you what that is in a second. If you didn't know, boys, you can actually do this. Instead of running all the way around there, you can just go whoop. Oh, my days. Never mind. Oh, yeah. Make sure you grab the shovel from there when you come down here. It's right there. And dig up loads of dig sites that you find because you get free salvage. And that's going to help you level up your gun rarity quicker. Uh, what's this called? Amp. Once you got the third amp powered up, you want to hop into the water real quick. Bring the pack a punch up. And uh, you should, by this stage, have about 500 salvage. I don't, somehow. But uh, straight away, what you want to do is you want to go up to this machine over here. And you want to upgrade your rarity one time. I'll upgrade our rarity. So now it's uh, tier 2 damage. We may as well do this now, but you could either do this before you buy Pack-A-Punch or after you buy Pack-A-Punch. But you want to run up here, uh, come all the way through here, go down here, and then on the left here, you see Deadshot over there. You want to buy Deadshot. This is going to increase your headshot damage, and if you're on console or using a controller, it's going to snap onto their heads like that. So it's going to make it really easy for you to get headshots. And now, we want to go to our spot and start racking up kills. Right. Now that you've got enough for your Pack-A-Punch, get Pack-A-Punch 1. As you, Well, I haven't got enough of that, but you want to send that up there. And this, this little area here, this is the spot. This is where we're going to be sitting. <clears throat> Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to send the Pack-A-Punch up there. Now, we can actually camp here. And this is going to be the spot we're sitting for the whole entire game. This is probably the best spot you can sit in in this whole game at the moment anyway. Like, they only come from this direction. If you get overrun and you panic, you can literally just go like this. Boom. There you go. You're safe. You swim back over to this platform, run back up the stairs, and back again. You've also got an ammo box there and armor just there. Ping. Hello. Ping. There. So, uh, it's a pretty decent spot. Oh, yeah, and the crafting bench is right there. So, everything is just really close. If you're going to get mutant injections and stuff like that, it's all close by. And uh, it's, it's flat ground as well. It's, it's all level, so it's really easy to hit your headshots. And you basically just sit here for the whole game, really, using your dead shot effectively to lock onto their heads. And I'd say you'll be here until about 40 to 45 before you uh, completely finish a gun. If you wanted to do it in one game, that is, anyway. Oh yeah, I wouldn't really get insta-kills if your gun is already one-shot into the head because it just increases your chance to accidentally one-shot, body-shot them. Oh yeah, something to note as well. That platform does come down or it moves whenever it wants to. So when it comes down, just jump back on it and send it back up because obvi obviously it's going to open both sides and then you'll have to deal with zombies from over there and over there. All right, so we're around 12. We've got tier 2 Pack-A-Punch gun. We've got a blue rarity from that machine. Our gun is absolutely shredding. And you notice we've only got dead shot down below. We haven't got jug or anything like that. We've only got one armor plate. That's because I'm saving all of my money and only spending it on things that increase my damage output. I'm going to be getting tier 3 Pack-A-Punch before I actually get jug or any other perks. And that's what you should be doing in your game if you want to make your gun as overpowered as possible. But if you're not the greatest zombie player, then, I mean, you can buy Jug or some armor plates if it helps you. But uh, if you're camping in that spot, you don't really need Jug or anything because they're not going to get near you. 
Oh, look at this mangler, ready? Bomb. Bomb. Look at that! Shredded. Round 14. Absolutely destroyed. If you keep this strategy going, you can have fun absolutely melting the zombies until about round 30. Once you get to round 30, it gets hard, and the strategy that we're standing in here, it, it does start to change, and you're going to have to start to keep other things in mind if you want to survive. Alright. Our first boss. So obviously we can't beat that guy. So we're just gonna jump in the water. That's fine. Jump in the water, reload, regen my health, all that kind of stuff. Get back to this platform over here and we try again. And you can literally just do that over and over and over again. But uh there is actually a crafting bench up there, and you can just buy mutant injections, and that's usually what I use to take out those bosses. Not oh, here he is, look. Right, purple rarity for my gun now is going to be even more overpowered. Like, look, shredding. Nearly there, nearly there. No! Nice. Drop anything? Oh, shit! Alright, that was too close. But uh, the more effective way to take out that guy is to just use like a kill streak or something. Because uh, he is a bullet sponge and he, he takes a lot. Nice, 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 nice. Right, so round 18 and we've actually got ourselves a maximum upgraded gun. I think the first perk I'm actually going to buy is in here. We're going to buy sleight of hand because I do actually have an augment on it that actually increases the reload speed even more. So, uh, that was really fast, see? There we go. Just what we need. But if you can't be asked to buy all your perks together, then, uh, hold on. If you can't be asked to buy them all together, if you wait till round 25, the, uh, Wonder Fist spawns right there, and you can buy all your perks together. So you have to get a boat, go to the broken ship, and it's right on the tip right there. So you have to go in from this... Whoa, are you guys gonna kill me? Okay, what? Yeah, you have to go in from the bottom and then go all the way up to the tip there. Because that's actually the most important perk, to me anyway. Because when you get all of your augments researched on it, you can actually get Dying Wish from Black Ops 4. So when you should die, you actually get a second chance. But you lose Quick Revive. Stamina. Oh, we want to get elemental pop is a very very good perk for this because if you upgrade the augments on this as well the final the final thing that you can upgrade or unlock should i say is electric cherry and if you don't know how that works every time you reload it lets out like an electric blast around you electrocuting the zombies and it's really helpful for when you like get trapped in a corner finally i can buy triple plates and that's it now i'm pretty much sorted i can just play the game sit in my spot and try and get as many headshots as i possibly can there is one more thing i want to show you about this strategy before i'd say you can crack on with it so things are going to get really hectic like 30 onwards it's going to be really really hectic and this is going to be really difficult to stay up here but what you can actually do is hide in this little corner here and just spray stare at your health just stare at it and as soon as you realize that you're about to die or something like that you can either activate your injection or like you sat here spraying they'll just keep piling up just keep spraying keep spraying keep spraying and look at your health and as soon as you think you're gonna die boom like that that's literally it that's all you do swim back to that platform run all the way back up there and go again and just keep doing that over and over and over again you've got Aether shroud as well which actually regenerates really fast so you can actually use that a lot of the time but uh that's basically the strategy i've got here i've got to around 50 sitting here with all my mates it's really funny with your friends as well because you all just like bundle into this corner you're just sat there spraying for your life um it's a, it's a lot of fun 
So uh, that's pretty much the strategy. I'll just uh, show you the rest of, the rest of this game that I play now so you guys can see how it goes. I've almost got this gun gold now anyway, and then I'm going to exfil. But uh, if I haven't started this gun in this in this game. It was already halfway done. But if you're going to try and do a gun in one game, um, you will probably be playing till about round 45. Roughly. Somewhere around there. So just uh, keep that in mind. And it's only round 25. Why is this so difficult already? Yeah, see boys, that's how it's done. I don't know how it's getting that hard around 25, but yeah. Maybe the gun shirt. I forgot one thing. We didn't get our gun to upgrade it to legendary. Now it's going to be legendary. Now our gun is maximum power. Yes, finally. 2,000 headshots. Now we've just got to get 100 tactical kills and 85 or 75 armor kills. We're going to throw this. Oh, shit. Right. And now... Oh, no. What are you doing here, bro? 50 kills of symbol monkeys. Kills. Come on. I must be so close. Oh, did I not do it? How? <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Go back down. Nope. Oh, I just got Dying Wish activated. Fuck! Right, one more monkey bomb should do the trick. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Pop! Why isn't it popped? Oh, I did it. Kill a hundred enemies affected by your tactical. Woo! Yeah, I did it. Now all I gotta do is I gotta get 10 kills rapidly 15 times. There we go. We are safe again. May as well slap this on. Speed things up. You can turn that on once you've got to the highest rounds and you're all set up because it just speeds it up then. Swiper, no swiping.
I just got fucked. And it's an insta kill. Are you serious right now? I need to abuse the shit out of this. But not on. What the fuck just happened? Okay. Okay. Well, we fucking failed there, boys, but you get the idea. That spot is pretty overpowered for going by headshots. I hope that does help you guys out. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this, let me know. And uh, thanks for watching the video.